My name is Dale Partridge, I'm a serial entrepreneur, founder of Sevenly.com, uh, StartupCamp.com, and the best-selling author of People Over Profit. Uh, I never knew I was going to be an entrepreneur. I, I grew up uh, without parents that were entrepreneurs. They were very blue-collar workers. My dad worked at General Electric. And uh, that experience was, you know, I just thought that I was supposed to get a job, but uh, I thought for sure I was gonna be a professional baseball player, actually. It was something that I did since I was a little kid. And I was a pitcher, I was a left-handed pitcher, and I was gifted. Uh, a lot of people would tell me that I was, you know, I was gonna be, I was gonna go pro, I'd get a scholarship, and I had this really built up into my heart. And in the year between uh, high school to college, I actually was throwing pitches in front of, you know, all these people that were, um, you know, radar guns up every pitch that I was throwing, notes. And I blew my arm, and it was kind of the, the end of a dream, the end of an era uh, of my life. And it really changed my perspective at a pretty early age of just, wow, like that didn't go as planned. And looking back, I, I realized that it was those moments of being on the mound at seven years old, at nine years old, at 12 years old, that I, I had the ability to lead. You know, it was those formative years that that taught me how to control the field, how to control the game, um, how to how to kind of manipulate my face and control you know my emotions, and it was a deep thing that I never even realized until I got older. Um, I was trying to get a job after my arm blew out and it just didn't work, and had all these jobs continued to get fired. I was pretty much unemployable, mostly because of pride at that time in my life. But once I realized that I was an entrepreneur, I started multiple different companies, from a rock climbing gym to a branding agency to. Uh, you know, to a conference company and started writing some, some small books and, and had some success and that was kind of a, a really encouraging moment in my life. And uh, I hit this wall um, where I was actually making really great money and, and I realized that putting money in my pockets just wasn't putting meaning in my soul. And I, I, I really struggled with the idea of making six figures and having really no purpose and no meaning behind that. And uh, I, I remember sitting back with a friend of mine and, and, and I said, hey, if Jesus was going to start a company, what would it look like? And that was a really profound question, at least for my journey. I, was, I became a believer around 21 years old. And, um, and I, I thought, you know, there's lots of Christian companies, but actually how are they changing their behaviors? How is their thinking being different? That was the founding of, of Sevenly really the idea of partnering with a new charity each week and, and giving seven dollars of, of every item we sold to a charity. We actually had, um, we, you know, we started this company in 2011 and blew the company up. I mean, literally within two and a half years had 50 employees, seven million dollars in revenue, gave away almost four million dollars in, in uh, donations to charity. And, um, and beyond that, it really changed my perspective on how we, not just how we run our companies and if we're generous or not, but the way that we treat our employees, the way that we talk about people, the, the values and integrity that we have as individuals, as leaders, the, the thinking that we have, the, the balance of, of making sure that we're not just the, the most famous, most wealthy people that nobody likes. You know, creating this, this moment that we don't get too busy making a living that we forgot to make a life. You know, that, that I wasn't putting my wife on the sidelines, that I wasn't putting my children on the sidelines. And it was this incredible new balance of looking to the scriptures and understanding really what it meant to be someone who has it all. And I'm not really impressed, you know, with these people that, that are incredibly successful in business. They have tons of money, um, you know, if their, their whole life's falling apart on the outside. And so it was that perspective that I took and said, okay, how are we gonna treat people? How are we gonna make decisions as a business? And, and it worked, you know, and I think that, that God creates a really good uh, model for the human mind to work and when you do it well people respond if I could go back I think I never took the Bible literally you know I, I don't think that I really took the 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 wisdom in there and actually applied it to my life and I think that uh, a lot of us do this where we just we read it and and it's almost we treat it like history instead of treating it like uh, applicability in our lives and and um, but you know one thing I lean on all the time is how you make others feel about themselves is a lot about your leadership and so if you're making people feel horrible, if you're making people feel scared, if you're making people feel anxious or concerned, um, th those are all the fruits of, of something that's, that's not biblical. Those are the fruits of things that, that aren't what our great leaders are made out of. And um, so, so love does work. It does work. But it's just, it's far more complex than, than yes or no. And they use the, the phrase that, you know, hey, it's not personal, it's just business. 
And I think that's just the most ridiculous thing you could ever say because it is personal. Everything is personal. And um, this es idea of escapism from the morality that you believe in is, is not an idea that you find in the Bible. And, and so this, this for me was just the, the literal context of the scriptures, trying to figure out how I can actually do those things as, as a business owner. And I realized, to be honest, that, that the more we value people over profit, the more profitable our companies are. The more people feel loved, the more people feel cared for, the more people that, that, that when they feel um, that your heart is right and that, that their interest is in mind, it creates a company of culture that that people work hard and it creates an incredibly strong organi organization that that you can't find anywhere else um, and that's just been that's just been a little bit of my secret weapon is just caring for people in a way that most companies ever will